Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and we have come to look at a Jaguar XF to remove some lock and wheel nuts. So we're looking at this type of nut here. You can see there someone's tried to open it and they've obviously damaged the key. So we would usually use a Dynamex set but we haven't got anything that fits on there, I don't think. This is gonna catch the, the rim by the looks of it. It will fit, but it's gonna scratch the rim this one, so we're gonna try and use something else. So I'm gonna try this set here from Laser. This is Laser 6972 kit. It's a conical lock and wheel nut set. So I'm gonna use the 24.5, I think is the best fit for this socket. So what I'm gonna do is fit that over the top of the wheel nut there. I'm going to use this adapter. Just going to try and hammer that onto there. Now I'm going to use a breaker bar with a 22 millimeter socket on it. Got that locking nut out there. As you can see it's just wedged over the top of it. Okay, so what I've got here now is the socket with the bolt, the bolt there wedging it. So I've got it just in a vice. Now you to use you use this little tool here, it's a skinny chisel that goes through the top. And I need to hammer that out. Now this can be come out quite easily, or in some cases they can be quite tough to get out. Quite easy. There you go. I've got it hammered out. That's the type of nut there that it is. So you can see there how they pair together. That just goes over the top, and this is a conical design, which means it's wider at the bottom, and it slowly gets smaller as it goes up. So the more you hammer it in, the tighter it gets. That just hammers together there like that. So now we're just going to repeat that process on the rest of the wheels. So we have just come to the passenger side here and obviously it looks like someone's already had a go at getting one of these out. And in the process they've ruined the thread there of the of the wheel and they've also damaged the wheel as well. So we're going to move on to the next wheel. This is the front driver's. So again there, we're doing the same process. We've already hammered it on, now we're just removing it. There we have it. So we'll just finish up on the rest of the nuts there, and that's the job complete. So we'll see you in the next video.